Welcome my friends of the interwebs. This is going to be another unboxing video. Um, just received this in the mail. Uh, but you know, the last unboxing I did, I forgot to mention this um, catalog from Emergency Essentials, uh, the May uh, Specials 2012. I don't know if uh, this person wanted me to do a shout out. Um, but you know what? I'm doing it. It's the, fr it's, the, it's the freebie. It's the freebie shout out for Emergency Essentials. BePrepared.com. Check them out. I guess they got good stuff. All right, listen, I, I want to establish something right out of the gate. I'm horrible with names. I <laughs> just am horrible with names. Um, if this doesn't have the username, you know, I'm kind of screwed. I, I does have a return address with the uh, person's name that sent this, but, you know, you have to understand I talk to so many people every single day. A lot of people tell me they're going to send me stuff. It all just kind of blends in um, until I really, really get to know you, which takes a very long time, you know, um, Please, if you're going to send me something, send your username so I can give you a proper uh, shout-out for it. So, and maybe this guy did. We'll see here in a second. I'm not going to use a knife to open this, I think. Okay. Now. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's not a bomb. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. So I don't know. What the heck is this? I think it's a shot glass, a big one though. Mackinac Island, Michigan. Let me let the price tag under two ninety eight. <laughs> Mackinac Island, Michigan. You know, I spent a weekend on Mackinac Island, oh, probably ten or eleven years ago, maybe twelve years ago. It's a really fascinating place. They, they don't allow cars on the island, or at least they didn't then. I'm sure they haven't changed. Uh, those of you might remember uh, a movie called Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve. Um, and he stayed at, on the island at a place called the Grand Hotel, which was really, really um, awesome. And I got to be honest with you, it was neat. Now, I didn't stay at the Grand. Uh, I stayed at, at one of the hotels. My room actually overlooked the, uh, like the, the harbor um, where they had docked all the boats. But uh, the Grand is pretty, pretty cool looking. It really is. It's like st stepping back in time. You know, the funny thing is you can rent horses, you can rent carriages, you can rent bikes. That's the only form of transportation around the island. The island's pretty, pretty large. Um, but the funny thing is there's a, uh, there's a breeze that comes off the lake. And it, it, how can I put this? Well, there's a lot of horses. <laughs> there's a lot of horses. So the breeze is very barn-like. And it's funny because when we were, uh, I, I went there with my girlfriend at the time, when we were um, in line to get on the ferry to leave the island, uh, I'll never forget, uh, they sell this uh, Mackinac Island taffy. And when you buy the bag of taffy, there's a saying on it. And one of the people that was standing in line with us um, read the saying. And she read, uh, as sweet as a, as a Mackinac Island breeze. And when she read that out loud, everybody waiting in line for the, uh, for the ferry started laughing. <laughs> because there was nothing sweet about a Mackinac Island breeze. All right, let me see if he, he put his name down here. His, his, oh. Okay, it's a money order. Okay, probably wants a t-shirt. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know who this is now. Sometimes it just takes a little jogging. Okay, but he sent me a money order for $20. It um, says, hey, Colonel, thanks for your videos. Uh, here is a shot glass from Mackinac Island where we are on vacation right now. The uh, MO, in, our money order closed is for your Red 2XT. Um, and now it is uh, a Wolvie, W-O-L-V-E-E-1-2-3 -E -E is his... Uh, is his name, and you know what? And he did contact me recently and say that he uh, say that he wanted to get a two X T shirt, um, and uh, that he was on vacation, all that good stuff. But I am horrible with names. I just am. I am horrible with names. But anyway, thank you, brother. I will get that T shirt in the mail. Probably not till Monday. Um, today's Friday. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the post office in the morning. I think they close by noon. So yeah, it'll have to wait till Monday. Um, and then I had a, I got another uh, T shirt order yesterday. And I was hoping to get that out today, but that'll have to go out Monday also. I try to be pretty quick about sending t-shirts out, or you know, and I'll do the same thing with the hat orders. Um, I don't like to sit on stuff. Um, it's, I like to get stuff to people as quickly as possible. I like to have a fast turnaround time um, because that's what I expect when I order stuff. Uh, though I will tell you the post office makes my life very, very difficult. You know, in fact, it, 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 check it out. I, I know it's not this box. Really, I can't turn it around for you, but he paid $5.25 to ship what you just seen to me. 
from from one state away. I, it's 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 extortion. These I'll tell you what. I, I swear to God. The post office, this is going to turn into a U U.S. Postal Service rant. Now, I've got two good friends that work for the post office. I don't give a rat's ass. The fact of the matter is, is that they do a shitty job. They've lost a bunch of my T-shirts every time they lose one of my T-shirts. Or I shouldn't say lose. Lose really isn't the proper uh, word for it. Steal. That's exactly what happens. Steal. Okay? Every time that happens, I have to pay for what well, that shirt comes out of my pocket. Okay? Then I have to pay for yet more postage. They, by the way, when they, when they quote-unquote lose something, they don't reimburse you for the postage, which I think is absolutely freaking ridiculous. You know, I don't know. You know, I haven't kept a running count, but I'll bet you we're approaching a half a dozen since I've started the whole T-shirt thing, a half a dozen shirts uh, lost. It's gotten to the point now where I do my best. I try to uh, put um, delivery confirmation on them, which costs me more money. Because there's a better chance that they won't get, quote, unquote, lost if there's delivery confirmation on them. You know, I mean, it's pathetic. It's really, really sad. And, you know, I have no sympathy for the post office. You know, and they keep jacking your rates up. They keep charging you more and more money for shittier and shitty service. And we're supposed to feel sorry for them. You know, fuck. I... Anyway, yeah, it just makes me mad. Because my tax money goes to support the post office. Now... I know people who work for the post office personally, um, and, and I got to be honest with you, I know they're good people, but I mean, I've heard stories from people that I know personally, you know, and, and it's just freaking ridiculous. All right, <laughs> that's, that's all I got for you. <laughs> Check this dude out. I'm going to have a link underneath in the, uh, in the comment section. Subscribe his channel. He's good people. Awesome guy. Thank you uh, for the uh, shot glass. Um, that's awesome, dude. I love that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably display it out here somewhere. All right, everybody take care. See ya.